Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your mid-August 2018 general reading. It's a general reading. It will not resonate with each and every person who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel is much appreciated. Make sure your comments in below because it automatically enters you to win a free reading with me. The readers will, excuse me, the winners of the free reading will be announced August 15th. I will go live and announce them. What I'm feeling for you intuitively, Cancer, is what I heard when I was shuffling off camera is everything will be all right. You guys, it takes a long time to let the pinchers go, to, to unleash, unhook yourself from any situation, especially where you're emotionally invested. Some of you like being in dynamics where you feel as if you're a step above um, as if you're the leader but a lot of times in that dynamic you always end up with the short end of the stick uh, you draw the the last straw you you end up sacrificing yourself and so much just to be in relationship what I'm hearing is that some of you need to learn how to just be Okay. Um, some of you are experiencing job change, job loss. Some of you are waiting for payouts, like the money is taking forever. Some of you received payouts, you did nothing with it, not anything substantial. Um, you need to change your mindset around money and what money is to you always keep in mind that money is energy some of you want something or someone else badly but you're not even telling this person that this is how you feel uh, you're not being honest about your feelings Um, you got to be honest about the way you feel. You got to put yourself out there. You might have put yourself out there before and got burned. Something about some money, some, somebody, something or somebody always drains you. Either it's energetically, monetarily, or it's both. Somebody comes to you with real grand plans of doing something, real grand ideas. It, this could be a friend too um, and they always get you invested and it's just like nothing there's no follow through with this person some of you dealing with extended family um, you're carrying a heavy burden with family an extended family energetically and monetarily right. you are the person that they rely on mm -hmm. some of you are holding a big secret about how you feel about what you want to do about what you're doing about how you're doing it I don't know let's get into the cards okay this is you right where you are the world nice letting the cycle in Moving on, um, you've, you understand that you've gone as far as you can go in a particular cycle. Maybe with another person or another set of people. This could be job, this could be business, this could be relationship. You've gone as far as you can go. Uh, are you on the right path? The Queen of Cups, nice. It says you are. You're showing up as you. This is typically cancer, male or female. Um, you're showing up ready to receive love, ready to give love, open, honest about your feelings and the, you know, the love that you possess for someone else. Some of you are with child or you want to be pregnant. Or, you, or if you're a man, you want to get somebody pregnant. Uh, obstacle here, page of pentacles. 
obstacle is that you still it's still very new you have really deep feelings for someone but it's still very new you want to go all the way but it's still very new but at the same time you've known this person but it's still very new I think you guys what the obstacle is is that you've never really set the foundation to build something solid and foundational with this person it's always been um, you know in and out activity um, it's always been in and out activity it's always been you know playful you never had the time to actually build that's the obstacle so you guys need to do that. What's helping you? Five of Pentacles. Um, cutting something out or removing yourself from a situation. Enacting a change that needs to be, you know, taken. Some change needs to happen. You need to remove yourself. You can no longer feel sorry for a person or a set of people. You have to do what's best for you. There's a lot of obligation in regards to a relationship you're in or business partnership. How can progress be made? Justice. Balance the scales out. Either this is legal, this is divorce, this is spiritually balancing the scales. Um, be fair. Be just and fair. Ask that people around you are. And if they aren't, then the justice is you removing yourself or removing them. I think you've been in an unfair situation for so long. You've got the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Two queens here. This could be same sex. It doesn't have to be um, male or female. This is the quintessential ideal wife. Um... You could be married. You might be thinking of getting a divorce. This could be a husband or a wife. Uh, definitely some change, some endings here. Some destined and faded endings. Looks like you've learned a lesson here. You get it now. Okay, the bottom of the deck, sentimental feelings. Okay, come back to that. Volunteer, end of an era, and we have the world leaving retirement. All right, so it looks like you're gonna have some job change, and I we did mention that intuitively, or you might just be really thinking about retirement. Also, it talks about job change. It talks about the man, the the hours that you may have put into doing an old job. Now, this with this new job, you're able to put in less hours, or you're able to retire from working full time. Now you work part time. Um, you could be leaving an old position at an old job. You could be leaving a relationship. You could be leaving anything. Um, the end of an era is here. You can't keep living like this. You can't keep reducing yourself. Um, but staying in a situation that no longer serves you. It no longer serves the person that enter you anymore. Volunteer is, uh, you know, of course, getting out there, being benevolent, uh, doing your alms, charity work. Sometimes volunteer, volunteer can talk about volunteering uh, information. You know, not waiting for it to be found out. Or waiting for um, the other shoe to drop. Volunteer this info so that others can be released too. Sit down, have those heavy talks. Because you're in something, whether it's a job or a relationship, only because of sentimental feelings. This should be emotions. This should not be sentiment. Sentiment is oh well you know if I leave then this person won't be able to do this or they won't be able to do that or this will go downhill or this will happen or this person will say that it's you know it's sentiment is a, a lot of times wrapped it's emotions it's obligation wrapped up in an emotion with an emotional bow 
like yeah my emotions are somewhat there but it's more obligation you know so it's not even great love here it's just like well uh, you know the bed that I made for myself I'm laying in it I want to get out of it but if I get up then you know you have a laundry list of things that will happen that are not necessarily good if you choose to change with the five of pentacles if you choose to leave if you choose to let something completely in you know but you know you have to make that choice it's up to you cancer bottom of the okay so none of this resonated with you we've got another spread here hopefully this one will bottom of the deck is the four of earth someone's holding on to information holding on to money holding on to a person let's see We've got the Judgment Call, the Ace of Fire, the Five of Water, the Hierophant, and the Seven of Earth. <laughs> it's almost the same message wrapped up in another bow. Um, you're hesitating before making a decision, maybe in regards to a long-term relationship or a marriage. You keep looking back at what was and how much time you invested here seven or more years seven or more months whatever you're looking back at what you invested you also may be looking back at what you've invested with someone else or you may be looking to the past or you may be looking for um communication looking to to um oh you holding on to somebody from the past too could be an earth sign or someone who comes up as an earth sign capricorn virgo taurus definitely holding on to this person hesitating before making a decision here because you know it's going to hurt it's going to hurt you it's going to hurt them but you know that you're done you you just done you can't go on this way anymore these two cards say make the final judgment call the decision have the motivation the desire the, the drive to actually make this happen be final and definite in in whatever it is you're doing get under some spiritual reign some of you could be consulting with tarot card readers psychics pastors um someone who's connected with the divine energy workers healers some of you need to be concerned with your health you've let you let yourself go down um the healthy days should outweigh the unhealthy days. That's you know, it's just how I'm living over here, right? Uh, do your best. That's all you can do. Well, just I just heard that it was something about health. You might need a health care change too. Some of you have some real um, diagnosis that you're dealing with. You might need to go seek a second opinion. Take care of yourself. Tell me you low energy here. Yeah, but the overall message is some of you are leaving, you want to leave. There may be children involved. Uh, someone else may be leaving you. Gotta be final and definite on what you want to do. Ob your, your whole life, for some of you, is wrapped up in obligation right now, and not love and emotion and devotion and um, wanting to be there. But more so, just like, well, if I leave, you know, you, it's obligation, it's sentimental feelings. If this reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Um, comment below because it automatically enters you to win a free reading. Go over to my website, book a reading there. Do know that any reading that is booked on a website or through me, um, and it's not a live or a Skype reading, there is a four to five business day wait. If you cannot wait, I do understand. Um, request a same day reading. That's a little pricier, but you can email me and we can get that started for you. All right, thank you and take care. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well, Cancer. Bye.